Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with George for another one versus one game. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Okay, so George, go ahead and introduce the deck that you'll be playing today. I am going to be playing Kinsetta Mufari. Kinsetta Mufari, all right, so you got purple and green alignment. I'm going to reduce you and my health while I'm hunting. Ah, okay. Interesting. All right, and today I'll be playing Eldrian, Famed Explorer. My goal for this deck is to produce as many tokens as possible. I've got ways to copy denizens, I've got ways to increase activation limits, so if things line up just right, I'll be able to flood the board with crazy amounts of denizens. So let's see if I can pull it off this game. And that's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Okay, I have one gold. I start off with Hidden Flower Patch. <sighs> All right. I actually am not running Obstructive Roadblock today, so you're just going to be able to run wild with your Hiddens today. <laughs> okay. Scary. Um, so I'm going to take my free draw right now. Nothing too new or exciting. So I will play my Luxurious Cottage. I put one gold uh, in the Hidden Flower Patch. I don't have anything else going on, so I will pass my turn. So for my first turn play, I'm going to go ahead and play Verdant Path. I'll use its arrival right away. Take a look at the top card. Wow, okay, that's awesome. So I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to take my free draw. And then now I'm going to play Quiet Path, and I'm going to use the arrival again for Quiet Path. Look at the top card. <sighs> Wow, I actually, I actually think I want that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and abandon this to draw a card. And then now I'm going to go ahead and play Grandfish Market. And then I'm going to spend one gold to activate Supply Cash, gaining myself two gold, drawing a card, and then losing the cash. And then I'm going to spend the two gold to play Welcome New Settlers, two settler tokens. And then now I'm going to nice. activate the Grandfish Market to draw a card because I control two or more denizens aligned to green. Smart. So let's go ahead now and pass it like that. So we are at two gold. I have one free draw, and I will take that free draw now. I'm going to play the Chromatic Ring. Hmm. I, I simply cannot do anything, and putting a gold into Hidden Flower Patch doesn't really help me on this turn particularly. It's going to have to pass my turn, I think. Sometimes that's how it goes. All right, turn two, get two gold. So let's see, uh, I'll play this location, the hidden waterfall, and then I'll take my free draw. Cool. So let's spend this turn playing an intelligence report. And then for the other gold, I'm gonna put search counter into my hidden waterfall, and then I'm gonna abandon my quiet path, draw a card. All right, so I am kind of tempted to attack into this ring. But the thing is, I'm not quite ready to get hostile yet. So I think I'm actually just going to have these guys not attack and not make themselves a little bit more vulnerable in the process. Pass. Okay, we are on turn three. I have three gold. I have a free draw. I am drawing my card. I'll play my Master Craftsman. Cool. I, his inspiration is not activated. Nope, not even close. Not even close. I will sell my chromatic ring. Interesting, okay. For one gold to play Obstructive Roadblock oh. on your hidden waterfall. Just All to right. just to kind of just to snipe that. Good responsible gaming. Just be responsible. So I'm gonna pass my turn. Alright. Get my goal for turn, turn three. So let's see, what do I want to do here? So I think, first things first, I'll play Treasure Hunter for three, oh, and boy. then I'll take my free draw. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is play Grand Fish Market, and that unlocks Expedition. So I'm going to go ahead and use it to gain myself two gold. Uh, all right, and then for my next trick, I'm going to play Reap the Harvest. So Reap the Harvest will gain me three gold if I control three or more denizens, which I do. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to four gold now. And mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. I'm going to use three of that gold to play Work the Fields. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell my Intelligence Report 
to get one more gold because I would like to now play Explore the Unknown for my last two gold. And uh, yeah, I think now is a good time to activate my Grand Fish Market. Draw a card. Um, okay, so I mean, I could I could have done a little bit more if I had this, but you rightfully locked it down. Put the brakes on that. Yeah, put the brakes on that. All right. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm happy with that. I don't think I think these guys still want to hang back and not not get hostile quite yet. So pass like that. All right, four gold. Mm -hmm. Let's use the free draw right now. I'm going to play dishearten oh man and that's going to go on yep. treasure hunter brutal and i'm going to spend two gold to play refuse defeat all right the classic refuse defeat classics yeah i guess i guess now's a good time to put into the hidden flower patch get back two gold and then play supportive friends all right and then use master craftsman to do damage to treasure hunter and get him out of here. All right. I activate master craftsman's inspiration, fetch a non-unique item card. Uh, I put termination notice in my hand and then I shuffle my deck and I have routine unlock to revamp an item. Does that mean I, can I use that on obstructive roadblock? That's right. So it goes up to five. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to get rid of that now. <laughs> So now I can pass my turn. All right, turn four. Get four gold, get my phase counters. All right, so first I'm gonna activate Work the Fields to produce a farmer token. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use that right away. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Explore the Unknown. Wow, okay. Mm. Yeah, why not? Let's put this card into my hand with Explore the Unknown. And then now I will take my free draw. Let's go ahead and play <laughs> my traveling caravan for four. And then I'm going to go ahead and abandon one of my grand fish markers to draw a card. Okay. Warning. And then I'm going to use my last gold to play history education. And then activate my traveling caravan's arrival ability. Because I've abandoned the location this turn, I will go ahead and produce three settler tokens. So yeah, I've got a pretty hefty board now. I uh, wasn't able to assemble the combo, but I think that's still pretty cool. So let's go ahead and pass the turn like that. Okay. Well, that's scary. Uh, five gold to start with and a free draw. I will take my free draw now. And I will just immediately put this into use. Termination notice. I spend one more gold to activate termination notice and banish the campaign history education all right no history education eh all right change this to active zone i play hidden thicket hidden flower patch i don't think i'm going to need it anymore so i will abandon it so that i may draw a card right so did you actually activate this yeah I okay put, so you should be at one goal now right yeah sorry i'll use i'll activate my master craftsman's routine and increase my obstructive roadblocks uh, health to six. Wow, you're like fortifying it. You're like building structures around it. Like there's a big iron fence around it at this point. Man, I am not chewing through this. Six health is, yeah, that's impossible. <laughs> I, I mean, I would have to turn um, like all my dudes hostile to do that. No way. <laughs> uh, I don't have any more. There's not many, I don't have any more moves really. Oh, refuse defeat didn't choose a card yet i guess i will choose supportive friends to mm -hmm. refuse the feat good choice just for protectionary purposes protectionary purposes. because i keep yeah. trying to think to myself like i gotta summon mufari but i keep having to like try and do defensive measures so i don't have any time all right i think that's i don't have any more cards i want to play but master craftsman can start doing some damage even if a little bit for now mm -hmm. Let's get one settlers out of here. Like we've right. got too many settlers. So you're gonna attack this into this? Yes. My master craftsman will attack your settler. Get him out of here. Down four settlers, a traveling caravan, and a diligent farmer. You have a whole village. You have a whole village township. And I will pass my turn to your your hamlet. Alright. My hamlet will gain five gold and put two phase counters on the campaigns. So I'll go ahead and activate work the fields first, producing myself a Diligent Farmer. Honestly, George, I don't know why you didn't attack this, but that's fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and use them both right away to go up to seven. 
Before using my free draw, I'm going to use my Explore the Unknown. Look at the top three. Ah, perfect. Let's put this into hand. Shuffle, and then now I'll use my free draw. All right, so for four gold, I'm going to play Clever Imitation. And then I will play Hidden Thicket. I will put a search counter on Hidden Thicket. And then, yeah, here we go. We're going to play Restraining Order and also use a Restraining Order to banish the Master Craftsman, who is hostile. Wow. So let's see, do I want to get hostile now? Nah, I still don't want to get hostile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do have seven denizens. Pretty cool. Um, all right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and abandon Grand Fish Mark to get to one more draw. All right, and I'll pass it over to you, George. Okay, I will start off with six gold, phase two of Refuse Defeat. I'm going to play Mufari. All right, here he comes. I'm going to play one more gold to make you create a Mufari's quarry token. All right. But you don't necessarily have a way to get rid of it this turn, do you? I will take one of my gold and I will put into Hidden Thicket, giving myself three gold so I can play Demoralize. Nice. Pretty good against my board. And I will also use Refuse Defeat on Mufari. Yep. Chain put in active zone and we are out of gold. Yeah, support of friends. Please attack Mufari's quarry for mm -hmm. two. All right. Pass. Okay, so turn six. Get six gold. Get all my phase counters. All right, so the first things first, uh, Mufari's quarry, there's absolutely no reason for me not to attack with it. So I'm going to have Mufari's quarry attacking to the roadblock. Deal two damage to that, please, sir. Sure. Uh, all right, so let's see. How do I want to sequence all this? So first, I'm going to create another farmer token, completing that campaign. And then I'm going to activate all three of my farmers to go up to nine gold. And then, yeah, I'm not going to use my free draw yet because I have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I'm going to use this first to look at the top three. Uh, yes, let's put this into hand. Shuffle, completing this campaign. And then I will play this location. All right, up next, we're going to play Eldrian, Famed Explorer because it's time to score some points. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use his arrival ability now. And the card that I'm going to fetch is... Sure, why not? The Quiet Path. And then I'm going to go ahead and mm -hmm. play Quiet Path. I'm going to activate its ability, looking at the top card. And no, I don't want that right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my free draw. Okay. And then now I'm going okay. to abandon this to draw one more card. All right, cool. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play Traveling Caravan. This is what I came here to do. So we're going to do it. And then I'm going to go ahead and have Clever Imitation make a copy of Traveling Caravan. Now, because I abandoned the location this turn, when I activate Traveling Caravan's arrival, I'm going to be able to produce three settler tokens. And because I have two of them, I can do this twice. So I'm going to do that once for this one. One, two, three. And then... Unfortunately, I have literally only one spot left in my active zone. I can have only one more denizen. So when I activate this one, I will create three settler tokens, but only one of them will stick around. The other two will get removed in the process. That's what I came here to do. So do it, yeah. I shall. And I literally have no more spots to play anything. So this gold is pretty much useless. So what's that, 10, point, 10 points? Uh, so points? when I end my turn, let's see, I'm going to score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 points. Nice. All right, I'll pass it over to you, George. Good luck. Look at how much stuff I have. Okay. Turn 7. Phase 1. Draw a card. I play Statue of the Beloved Queen, and I give the plus 0, plus 1 to support all right, so there are two ones now. I demoralize the diligent farmers. All right. Support friends into other diligent farmer. Okay. Ufari into traveling caravan. All right. Oh, yeah. And then I play Joyous Celebration. All right, nice. Draw yourself two and cards. And I draw two cards. And then I play welcome new settlers so i assume you drew into that otherwise you would have played that before you yeah. celebrate yes yes correct and because i've because that has happened now 
I can now play Grand Fish Market. Nice. And with Arrival, I draw another card, which is Grand Fish Market, oh. which will allow me to be played to allow me to draw into another card. The Double Fish Market. Look at you. Double Fish Market. Double Fish Market Double all the way. Market. Okay, that's a that was a lot. Oh, and you can also abandon. <laughs> yeah, I can because I already have hidden thicket. Uh, it's already been used. I can abandon it or any of the greens into the inactive zone and get myself another draw. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've done everything, and I will pass my turn. All right, get my gold, get my face counters. So unfortunately, mm -hmm. George, valiant effort, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven points on deck here. So all I have to do is end my turn. Eldrin will see eleven denizens, scoring myself eleven points, going up to twenty points. GG, George. Too good. It looks like the swarm was a little too much for you. Too it it was too much. I don't have the AoE necessary. But that mm -hmm. you taught me a lot of things today though. Yeah, so I mean, on your turn, you could have maybe scored seven points, but then you, I, I can see you were trying to um, reduce my board. I think one critical misplay, if you don't mind me saying, is letting me have that token. Because if you just waited on a, if you just waited a little bit before giving me the token till you actually had more resources committed on board to actually deal with it, it didn't um, even happen though. The thing is, is that the I thing is though, I it scored shuffled. me two points over the course of this game, right? True. True, so true, if true, you just waited true, a little bit true. before giving I, me this, true, you're yeah. right. That could have been two more turns, but I didn't pull the Death Striker. Like I pulled, so I you just saw me pull like ten, like six, seven cards, and I didn't get Death Striker. So I saw it earlier, and I'm like, ah, it's so far away. I'm glad I'm shuffling, and then it didn't come back, and I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's yeah, fair. but that, that that's that, I think I think I think even with that misplay, even missing not destroying your farmer earlier, I don't think I had like your the swarm is a really good. This was a really good draw swarm. You, re you really played it well, so didn't have much didn't have much wiggle room despite those two mistakes. Mistakes on my part, but Mininsky will compare to your power. So I think you should. I think you deserve credit, man. GG. All right. Yeah. Fair enough, George. GGs. GGs. All right, that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave comments just to help us improve or to tell us what you'd like to see next. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye-bye for now.